yeah, there's something that really needs correction here, which is your pinky is collapsing. All right, look, you got three joints. The joint at the beginning of the, you know, the, where the knuckle is, you got that joint. You got this joint in the middle, and you got the third joint, which is the distal joint. That distal joint has to be curved down, and this one has to also be curved. This is the position we want, okay? Your finger has to look like that when it's down. Yours is looking like that. It's collapsing. It's going straight like this. That affects the whole arm. It's not possible to really relax the left arm when that is happening to the finger, unless it's happening intentionally, which is another story, because there are times when we use a straight pinky, but we have to establish the curved one first. So you must do this. Now, I want you to go extremely slowly, no tempo. Index one, and then at practice approaching the string like this and just touching it with the um, curved pinky. Okay, now when you press, don't let it collapse. See, what can happen if you don't do it right throughout the whole arm, because the arm is resisting this force, you'll just, you'll do this. This is what we don't want. We can't have this. Okay, we need this. Okay, so that's the biggest issue. I don't even worry about the other combinations. Let's get this straightened out first. Just one four. I want to see a good one four. Do not let the other fingers rise. Don't let fingers pop up when the four goes down. Go very slowly. Look, you got to touch the string first, then slowly apply pressure while you watch everything. And then you come over. Keep the heavy arm on that finger. Lightens up, comes over, curls, gets ready, goes down. Okay. I can fix your playing problems, too, in my online classroom. Go to guitarprinciples.com for more information.